Well, what do you say? I think it's about time that we did a full workout of abs. Hey everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Like I said, this whole video is gonna be all abs. We're working rectus abdominis, obliques, transverse stabilizers. We're hitting the whole kit and caboodle today. All right, so what I want you to grab is a mat if you have one. We're also gonna use a Swiss ball, okay? I'll show you some of the variations you can do if you don't have a ball, but if you have one, grab that for today's workout. Your format is gonna be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition so I can show you what's coming up um, and show you any modifications if need be, all right? So let's get started. All right, on your hands and knees, we're just gonna start with something called the sprinkler, kind of just warming up abs. Don't worry, it's gonna get harder. Not to worry about that. Okay, elbow, our hand is by your ear. You're gonna rotate up and alternate here. So each side comes up, stretch that elbow up toward the ceiling. Okay, and aim to keep your pelvis facing the ground. Wow, my rope tight on the one side comparatively speaking. Right there. You know, that's often the case. All right, you'll find a tightness on one side. But rotate up. Nice stretch there for us. Get us all ready to go. Oh, that's it. So we're gonna move to a bird dog from your hands and knees coming up. Now, don't worry, we're gonna do it from our toes and hands eventually to make it really difficult but just these first couple of minutes, I wanna warm up so we don't, you know, like pull something. All right, so hands and knees, keep your pelvis flush toward the ground, opposite hand, opposite leg are extending out. This doesn't have to be fast, slow and controlled. Here we go. So extend out, bring it in. That's it. You even might find like one glute feels quite tight when, um, it's out in that extended position. It fires when it's full range and full stretch like that. I definitely feel my right side is pulling a little bit more. Gotta roll that out. All right, you're over halfway. Think of there being a glass of water on your back that you don't want to tip off. Okay, so really focus on keeping your hips parallel to the ground. That's it. Moving into a Russian twist coming up. So we'll do this without the weight. Round one here. And I want you to sit back. You can keep your feet on the ground if you want. If you're able to lift them up and do so. Elbows wide. Here we go. We're reaching down side to side. So try to get that elbow close to the ground. You can crunch those obliques a bit here. So full on bear sighting here, I guess. A bear and three cubs now. So I'm never hiking again. That just basically settles that. Oh, it's so freaky, I hate that. And you know what they say about the mama bear? Holy, so that's like really literally two blocks from my house that it was, it was spotted. So that makes one a little nervous to go outside. Indoor workouts, here we come, I suppose. Keep that back flat, almost there. In four, three, two, and rest. All right, little rounding through the back if you need to. Popping over into a plank position. Just starting with a regular plank, elbows and toes, okay? Elbows and toes, you can do this from the knees to modify right here. Ready, and pop it up. So hands are nice and loose. Don't clasp them together, right? Just let them hang out, and back is flat. Now, in this position, if you feel your back sagging, I'd rather have your bum in the air than your back sagging. So make sure that you don't let that back sag. Tummy is tight, but shoulders are aiming to be as relaxed as you can, okay? And slow, deep, regular breaths in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You have only 10 seconds left. Good. We're flipping over back to our back. In four, three, two, and there's your time. Stretch that out if you need. Okay, you're gonna do a bridge reach. 
So, on your back, your hips are up towards the ceiling, you're in a bridge. We're reaching up opposite hand uh, towards the ceiling. Here we go. So, shoulders, neck, head come off the ground and you're reaching up. Reach. Now, if you're feeling this too much in the neck and want to set your hand behind to gently protect the neck, feel free to do that. But you're reaching up, okay? You might find yourself migrating backwards a little bit. I feel myself slipping. So adjust as you need to. Bring your feet closer to your bottom as you need. Reach. Up. Really aim to get that shoulder blade off the ground. Up. All right, three more seconds here. Good, stay on your back there. I'm just gonna move closer to the camera. Moving into some bicycles. Opposite hand is gonna to touch opposite knee. Try to reach for the outside. Get ready in three, two, and start right here. Reach, reach. All right, sometimes you see people flying through these. You don't have to fly. It's harder if you're slower. So go this pace with me, come on. That's it. I'm extending my leg as close to the ground as I can and thinking of pushing the middle back of my back down to the ground. Okay, I don't want to arch the back. I don't want my um, hip flexors to take over. Extend that leg. Doing well, 10 seconds. We'll flip it over again in three, two, and rest. Good. Okay, hop over. We're gonna go right into a plank jack. Keep the heart rate up slightly. So plank position. Feel free to tap this side to side to modify right like this. Otherwise, we're gonna jack over our mat. Here we go. Bum is down. And a little hop right like that. Whoa, lower abs are just feeling this already. Just didn't take long. What, like six minutes? Great, halfway. Whoo, little shoulder work on this one too. Good, last five seconds right here. In three, two, and rest. Good job. Let's flip over again. You're gonna go onto your elbows. Come up high on your elbows. Alternating heel drop, legs at 90 degrees. Reach the heel in front of you. Let's start. Reach, bring it back up to 90. That's it. And let it down. Good job. All right, you're halfway there. Might feel a little bit of like this in the quads, eh? But again, hip flexors attached to the quads, attached to the abs. Sorry, hip flexors are attached to the abs and the quads. So you can feel that really working in this one here. I can anyway. All right, in three, two, and rest. All right, let's over, flip it over again. You're gonna go into that up-down plank. Now, that one we use, it works with chest a little bit, but it's a great ab exercise too, because you're holding plank. So there you go, ready, up-down plank. Elbow, elbow, hand, alternate lead arms here. All right. Now, my name of my game here is to keep my pelvis facing the floor. I don't want to rotate the hips up to help myself up here. Okay, keep it flush to the ground. Good, halfway. Last 10 seconds, push, push. V-sit pulses coming up. Okay, flip it over, good job. Whew. 
So sitting in a V-sit, again, you can lean back and just pulse right here, or legs up off the ground in three, two, and pulse right there. Back is as flat as you can. That's it. And pulse. Now, you feel that in the back, and you might stretch it out for a second, go back as soon as you can. It doesn't take long now that we're just really focused on abs for that back to take over. Of course, you don't want that. And if you feel like your back is arching, it's probably, probably what's happening. The iliopsis in the back kind of takes over. We're gonna take a break as soon as this one's done here. So keep with me in four, three, two, and rest. Good, quick stretch water and join me back. You're going to be using your ball shortly, so keep it handy here. You're going to go into dead bug position here. Your hands are up by your ears and we're going to just start with the crunch right there in that position, okay? So nice and slow and controlled. Here we start. Here we start. Let's start. Here we go. I've said that a number of times, <laughs> haven't I? Now, if you're feeling this in your neck again, Feel free to eliminate the overhead hat hold and just support your head with your hands, okay? Don't want to be feeling this in the neck. You don't need those levator scapula muscles recruiting here. This is all about abs, right? So listen to your body, pay attention to the cues. work for those abs. All right, grab your ball. So this can be done exactly the same without the ball if you don't have it. But if you have it, legs are 90 degrees, hands are up, ball is in between both. Opposite hand, opposite leg are extending out. Here we go, slow and controlled. You're balancing that ball. You see where it is, it's not on my stomach. It's up in the air, okay? Now, if you feel like your back is coming off the floor, eliminate the legs, work on the arms only, and push the small of the back into the ground, okay? Again, lots of modifiers on this sort of thing. Nice, slow extension here. <laughs> so I had a client do this this morning on a bozu ball. She was lying, she was balancing on her back on the bozu. And uh, it's funny because I saw the exercise. I've never actually done it. I'm just making her do it. It's kind of funny, right? Okay, Swiss ball pass. Put the ball between the legs. We're passing it to the hands. Everything's coming down. Everything's coming up. Everything's going down. Without a ball is fine as well. Here we go. Pass it up. Legs are long and up. Now, if this is too difficult, just bend the knees. Okay, bend the knees. Again, back against the ground here. We're gonna do a plank with our feet on the ball coming up. You cannot put your feet on the ball. Go ahead and put them on the ground. Woo! Five seconds. Good. Okay. If you are dizzy, just take a second, please. Feet are on the ball. It's easier with the shins on the ball, harder with the toes. All right, hop up on there. We're gonna crunch in and out. Here we go. So, do this on the floor, just regular plank. Uh, do this from the shins or even the quads and hold it without crunching or make it really difficult and do it from the toes. Slow and controlled. In and extend. Great job, halfway, open. A little side plank action coming up. Thread the needle, three, two, 
and time. Whoa, that was work for me. Hopefully it was for you as well. Okay, we're doing 45 seconds per side on this. Stack your feet, modify with your leg up here. We're tucking it in and up. Let's start. Up, bring it under and extend. That's it. Again, you need to modify. I feel like with the amount of abs that we're doing, I have to. You feel free to do it from your stacked feet. This is still working those obliques quite well though. I used to teach, you know, like a 30 minute ab class and it would appear like I was doing exercises for 30 minutes straight and I'd make them like, ugh, really killer, switch sides. And, but then as soon as I couldn't hold it any longer and I would ask the audience to hold it, the audience, the, you know, the, the attendees, ready, and here we go. But as soon as I couldn't do it anymore, I'd be like, I'm just gonna check form. So I'd come around, all right, everyone, I'm checking form. But really, I couldn't hold it <laughs> any longer. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you know, pretend you're in charge and you get to do what you want. <laughs> oh, oh, it's good. This one's very targeted on those obliques. I like it. Really pull that arm under, okay? You thread the needle and then extend up. That's where that oblique crunch comes right there. Moving into a elbow or a forearm, plank position next. All right, there's your time. We're gonna do a plank tap out. So two back-to-back -back, um, planks here. We'll do a plank tap out and a plank hip drop. In four, three, two, elbows and toes, and just tap right in front of you. Same thing applies with your hips. They are facing the ground, parallel to the ground. That's it, tap in front. If you feel like this is too difficult for your shoulder, you can take it down to the knees, okay? Or eliminate the tap. My feet are slightly apart to give myself a better uh, center of balance. Ten seconds. Don't let your back sag, remember. Good, stretch it out for a second. So you're going right back there for a plank hip drop. Okay. Elbows and toes again. In four, three, two, here we go. You can do this from the knees. But if you have a bad back, just hold it from your toes without the twist, okay? This twist is quite aggressive. if you have sore back issues. Okay, nice neutral neck. Halfway. Line on your back for a flutter kick is next. Woo! Work, work. My biceps and shoulders are on fire. Ugh. All right. And there's your time. Oh, holy Hannah. Okay, a couple of lying down ones next. Flutter kick is first. Let's put our hands underneath our bottom to support our lower back. And scissoring, fluttering the, the legs. And start. Okay, slow and control. Put your mind in those, the lower portion of your abdominal wall. Okay, and think again. You're pushing the small of your back into the mat. All right, don't let it arch. Very hard in this exercise not to arch it. Sometimes people feel better if they have their neck off the ground like this, but you do whatever is good for you. <sighs> 10 seconds. We're 
we're gonna move to a hip hop with a leg extension next. All right, go ahead and hug your knees for a second. Little roll in the lower back. Stay down here. Because that next exercise, you're popping your hips up to the ceiling, kind of like a reverse crunch, and then bending and extending them. In three, two, here we go. You're popping up, bend, extend. To modify this, you can extend one leg at a time. All right? Or both. And my extension is super low to the ground, sweeping the ground. Nice. Speaking of sweeping, we're gonna do the shovel next. Well, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Speaking of sweeping, we would do the broom next, not the shovel, hello. But it's actually called the shovel, so. But you'll notice when I get there, it's a sweeping action, and that's what I was talking about. It's very similar to this one. Okay, this is your last one in this circuit, and then we'll take a slight break, grab water, Stretch your back, whatever you're like. Up on your elbows, you're gonna sweep your feet in like you're picking up sand, okay? Ready. Here we go. So, if I wanna modify this, I'm one leg at a time. I'm reaching and scooping. Reaching and scooping. See how that works? Oh, it's work, isn't it? I really need to concentrate on not arching my back to get my legs back up. Go slow though, okay? This is a good one. Wowza. I forgot about this one. It just came to me. It really did. I'm actually looking forward to having some tight abs, like sore feeling. I haven't done a lot of like really isolated ab work lately. I always throw some in in certain exercises. This is great though. Okay, quick little break and join me back. Staying down on the ground, you're gonna go into a corkscrew. Hands under the bottom. Be mindful of this. You just wanna do small little circles with your feet, okay? If you, keep going, okay, let's start. If you make the circle too big and you lift your back off the ground, that's where you're getting into some danger spots there. Okay, I'll tell you when to switch directions. You don't want your hip flexors to take over and you don't want your that iliopsis to take over, okay? Switch directions here. Um, you know what's funny? <laughs> uh, one of our followers, Becky, I'm gonna call you out, Becky. She's like, hey, Tracy, just so you know, I secretly watch your clock. So that when I take breaks, if I'm like, hey, take a minute, grab some water, come back. And then I'm all like checking my phone, you know, petting the dog, and she checks my clock. She knows how long my break is. <laughs> Sneaky Becky. All right, good. That was pretty easy. Let's do a hard one now. Full V-sits, okay? You're on your back, upper body comes up, legs come up to touch, to modify, come right here in that crunch. Ready, and let's go, up, okay? I like to lift my upper body up first, and follow up with the legs. Sprinter's sit-up is coming up next. One of my favorites. You're halfway. Come on. Eight seconds. Okay, sprinter sit up, lying on your back, everything is down, you come up to your bottom, opposite elbow touches opposite knee, okay? Ready, here we go, you can stay lying on your back to modify, okay? Stay on your back to modify, just bring your knee to your elbow. We're gonna use our ball again next for a little Swiss ball rollout. Kind of like you would use an ab roller for. Ooh, this is 
this is hard. Okay, good. Uh, if you don't have the ball, you can do a plank walk out, okay? Back, back. You're lengthening through that abdominal wall and then bringing it back. Okay, kneeling. I'm rolling out. Roll, roll as far as I can with good form. Rolling back. So long, long. Nice plank position on the upper body. Okay, bum's not up, back's not sagging. That is hard. That's good though, I like it. We're gonna lie on our ball and do a side to side move next. Oh, goodness, work, work. Modify the next move. You can do windshield wipers on the ground. I'll show you really quickly here. Okay, if you don't have a ball, you're on the floor doing a windshield wiper. Legs are side to side, okay? If you have a ball, hop on there, and we're rolling side to side. Lie on your back with your head on the ball, hands to the ceiling, wide feet come side. Center, side. Good, side. Keep your hips up. Really reach that hip up high. That's it, hop. Good, you're halfway. Head comes right down to 90 degrees. Downward dog crunch. Coming up next, three, two, and time. All right, set the ball aside. Plank position, knee comes in, okay? Knee comes in, you crunch, kick it up. We'll do 22 seconds per side. Three, two, here we go. It's low, kick up, come low. Drive that knee in towards the hands, kick it up, low. You want to hover over the ground, switch legs. Hover, hover. Drive the knee in. Flipping on our back for a pistol crunch. In three, two, last one here. Nice, okay. On your back, woo! So crunch, hands behind the head, one leg is out, one knee is bent, okay, and we're crunching up. Hands behind the head, here we go, and up. If you're feeling this too much in your back, go ahead and put that bent knee on the ground. Think of pulling the chest to the ceiling. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Please be sure you're not pulling your head with your hands. Oh, this is hard. Hard for me too. Okay, rest for a second. Scissors coming up. Okay, stay on your back like this. The feet are going crisscross like that. Hands underneath your bottom. Ready. And start here. Crisscross there. So ultimately you want to go as low as you can toward the ground. But if you're arching your back, bring your legs up a little higher, okay? Halfway. Woo! That's work. No question. Eight seconds though. Don't leave me. Stay here. Come on. Four, 
three, two, and stretch it out for a second. Good job. All right, moving into a princess sit up. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. Everything is down, everything is up. Get ready. Shoelaces undone. In three, two, here we go. Up and down. I'll call halfway here. All right, switch legs. And up all the way. Plank position is next. Hands and toes. Holy. Okay, plank position. You're almost done. We have this and then one more. And then you're done. Okay, alternating elbow tap right here and tap the elbow. You can modify this from your knees, right like this. Otherwise, get right over those hands. Tap the elbow, that's it. You're aiming as best you can, keep your hips still as they can be, okay? You wanna make this more difficult? Let's go on one foot. Cross that back leg over the other one. Woohoo! Now let's work. That's good. Have to move a little faster on that tap, don't we? Close to there, seven seconds. Side B sits for our finale. Oh goodness. Okay, side B sits, come to your side. Arms out in front of you. We're bringing legs up to your hand. Okay, 22 seconds per side. And here we go, up. I like this one too. That's fun. All right, switch sides moving quickly. Ready, and up for 20 seconds here. Thinking about my abs, contracting at the top, crunching, squeezing obliques. Almost there, in four. Three, two, and done. Great job. That was awesome. I am hoping to feel that tomorrow for sure. Hey, let's do a quick stretch here. Okay, lie on your back. Let's bring our hands out to the side and allow the legs to fall to one side. Keep your both shoulder blades on the ground, okay? Now you all feel that in the torso, a little glute. Increase it by lifting the leg up and pulling it over, but only go as far as you're comfortable with. Okay, you don't want to torque the back. Whew. I mean, a little sweaty. Uh, it's good. I think that would be a great little addition, switch sides, to um, like some of my 30 minute workouts, you know, like some of the 30 minute hits. Remember the one I did in Phoenix that was crazy? That was like a no cardio hit, and then pair it with this. That would be a good workout. I want someone to do it. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna do it, and then let me know how that was. That would be a good, good combo. All right, let's hug the knees in, and just a little roll on the lower back there. Okay, oh goodness. That was good. Yep. I've gotta do more of those, just to, you know, really strengthen the core. And some of them were aggressive, you know, maybe it's not necessary to do a full 30 minutes like that. It's nice to do it once in a while though. I think it's good to isolate like that. Okay, let's move over to a cobra position here. But I definitely need to up my game in my core activities. Okay, go ahead and lie on your stomach. And we're just gonna stretch up only as far as you can, okay? If it's just to your elbows, that's fine. If you can go the full way, go ahead and stretch that out for a few seconds, hold. And then come all the way back down. Let's do that again. 
and up. Good. My shoulders feel a bit shaky. That's funny. I don't know why. And down. Let's up on all fours. Stretch back to that child's pose. Press your chest to the ground. Rock through the hips slightly. Do your arms feel a bit shaky? Why would that be? The planks? I don't know. Anyway, I don't mind it. Feels good. Okay, round through the back. A little cat and cow here. So round your upper shoulder blades. Try to stretch it there. And then slowly exhale. Arch your back. Lift your chin up. Inhale, deep inhale, cat, stretch up through the top, and exhale into cow. Good. All right, one more. Let's tuck our arm under, stretch through the upper shoulder blades into the middle back. There you go. Good job. Hey, make sure you let me know what else you want to see. Actually, over the last two days. Two people have asked me to do a Bozu workout. Who has a Bozu? Do you, I can't even see you right now. Where did you go? Um, does anyone have a Bozu? Do you want a Bozu workout? Let me know in the comments below if that's what you'd like. Okay? I have one. I just don't think many people have one. So then I'm like, why would I do that kind of workout? But I do like it. I use it with my clients too. It's great to add little cardio elements uh, to Bozu. Um, yeah, like I said, I think in other videos, I don't really do yoga and I don't do boxing, but any of the styles, what do you prefer? What are you looking for? You want hip workouts, no equipment workouts, strength workouts, isolated strength workouts, like more chest and tries or back and bars or legs. Anyway, let me know. Hey, thanks for joining and uh, stay tuned because this is what happened when you weren't looking. <laughs> See you in the next video. And we're moving side to side here. Come back onto your back, rest your head on the ball. Hands to the ceiling. You're coming here. Center here. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good blooper. That is a good blooper. On the ball. Lie on your back on the ball. Moving quickly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, one more time.